All right, guys, welcome back to episode three here on the repo map. First episode, we made this bad dad. We, we made the shop. It's beautiful. And then second episode, we did our first ever rescue. And then now we're going to be doing our first ever repo in episode three. So super cool stuff. I guess we already repo two trucks over there, but but it was mainly it was mainly uh, a rescue that we did. So very cool. We still need fences the, the construction company still hasn't came out we need to fence the area we need to have uh, better fortified yeah we need we need good solid fences with barbed wire on it so people can't run go get their cars back without paying their paying their dues paying their fines and, and i should probably just keep them inside and lock the door but i would hate for somebody to van i feel like we're gonna have a lot of vandalizers you know when people when you repo somebody's car they get very upset so hopefully we don't run into any crazy people today i know we have for sure we have to do a corvette guys a corvette super cool it's a brand new 20 i think it's 2019 zr1 c7 chevrolet corvette now one thing i want to say real quick and get out of the way is today's tuesday that means i or this means that i've been trying to do tutorial tuesdays but uh, this morning before this video was posted i posted a tutorial tuesday on how to make mods now that's super important that so many of you guys ask yo special tv like how how do I do it? You, you're always making these awesome videos and you have all these awesome mods. How can I get a mod? Well, that's why I made today's tutorial on how to download mods. Make sure to check it out. I try and put it in the description, but you guys know me. I'm not the best. I'm not the best at putting in the description. It seems like I forget more than I remember to put her in the description. So let's go ahead and shut all the doors. You just look up tutorial Tuesday, Spencer TV. It'll be just on the youtube search it's it's no worries there okay so let's go ahead huge shout out to artists for the awesome shop and everything we are going to let me run out real quick i've been talking so much there's a tow truck in that picture right there and there we will be using that tow truck very shortly we actually have it on order so it should be arriving today or tomorrow depending on how things go but first thing first i i'm not going to go for the corvette first the guy works at home and and i don't know i'm gonna go kind of around dinner time maybe see if it's still the, i don't know i'm just kind of kind of guessing first thing i'm gonna do this is gonna be a pretty long drive now we are going all the way to this kind of it's an abandoned farm i don't even know it was once a farm and now this guy lives in like this this like weird workshop shed looking thing i'm not sure i think he does pretty illegal stuff inside there so it might be he might be armed he, he i think he's an illegal dangerous person so we need to be very careful here he he has a repo due on due on his truck he hasn't been paying payments it's actually a very cheap truck i don't know why he couldn't pay his payments i can't imagine it's anything more than five thousand dollars uh you know just total cost there so i i don't know why this is such a big deal okay so let's go ahead head over i'm, I'm gonna make some passes here I should probably drive somewhat slow here. We'll throw, do a little first person view. I do like first person. It's pretty nice. I guess showed you this truck last time. This is right now. <laughs> this is our makeshift flatbed. And, and you guys, I was showing you guys, I want that tow truck. Uh, we, we already did order it. So it should be coming very shortly. And then I'll probably make an episode on that using that bad dad. And it has a fairly good flatbed. I th better than this, more industrial. It's not guys. This is like all wood. So it's, it's pretty rough on it, but we haven't really repoed anything too big to be to be too worried about it so yeah let's i think you guys this is kind of a very familiar place this is where we started on one of our let's farm series here on ravenport okay so the, here it comes the abandoned farm they like destroyed all the barns there used to be actually this used to be a really really big farm and now it's all gone the fields are in crumbles I think he either lives up there in that like I don't even know what you call it. It's like a tree house, but way more than a tree house. And then or he lives back here. I always knew that there was there's not even an address on this place, guys. I'm just a local. And I know is it that? No, it's it's right. Okay. Alright, here we go. We gotta be super careful here, guys. This is what I'm talking about. It's like so sketchy. He has like broken down cars. I don't know what he does back there. Alright, let's sneak around. All right, check the VIN, check the VIN. What? Oh, no. He's got a gun. He's got a gun on the seat. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, let's go ahead. Back her up. Let's get her loaded up. Dude, there's no way he's not going to hear me. He's going to come out. He literally has a weapon on the passenger seat. This is so bad. This is so bad. Okay, let's back it up here. Let's get her loaded. All right, there we are. It's a little crooked, but oh my goodness. I, we're, we're literally taking back a weapon. We're going to have to have... 
who do we call? I think we're gonna have to call the police. Okay, this thing. I didn't have time to strap it on. I thought I, I thought he was gonna come out. Super rough ground here. I just I just want to get out of here. I feel like once I get on the road, you know, he's he's unless he has like booby traps around here or something. I feel this kind of reminds me of Wild Bill. I didn't I didn't think we would have somebody this crazy already. But this is like our third repo, our first like full repo day. All right, there we go. I need to slow it down. We were going like 40 back there. Let's go ahead and slow it down. Yeah, this is uh, it's doing pretty good. This isn't bad at all. We'll try and stay on the road and make it back to the shop. Once again, let me know if you are enjoying the repos. It's just an iconic thing that I've always done in Farming Simulator. There's been so many awesome mods, and it is super early. The game just recently came out at you know mid-fall, mid late-fall. And so there's still a lot more to come, a lot more awesome mods. So we're going to be upgrading all the time. Like I said, I already ordered a new truck and everything. So lots more videos come out. And if you do enjoy it, please hit the like button. Our goal on every video is to hit 500 likes. If it doesn't, then I try not to make a video like that again because you guys obviously didn't enjoy it. So let me know if you did enjoy this and if you want more by hitting the like button. All right, so we're going to head back to the shop, and I'll see you all when we get there. All right, boys, we are climbing. Like, this is, this is a super small truck, like, super tiny, but still, we're able to handle it, like, super good. Way be, way better than I thought, and we're, we're probably still going to use this truck. It's still going to be at the shop, but I feel like we're going to kind of... We're gonna kind of crowd it out with our new new and, and let me show you the picture again exactly what we purchased it's gonna be it's a lot more it's a lot more like strong industrial like i said not a wooden flatbed it's it's all metal and I'll, I'll kind of show you guys what i'm talking about in a second let's pull around back here open up the gates there we go we need we need some remote start but i do like how the gates open up like super fast Mix things here. I'll just keep them open for now. We don't. We actually don't even need them closed because I gotta pull through again. But yeah, guys, this is like wide open. We need fences bad. The construction company delayed. They said the fencing company. I don't know why I call them construction. The Ravenport fencing was not uh, was not available for this weekend and stuff. So let's go ahead unload this little guy. All right. So she's unloaded in one of the things. What do we do? It's got like what is that? A red dot sight? I'm not super familiar with. I mean, I am familiar with guns, but looks like an MP5. I oh, know that looks. Uh, he's got a first aid kit, so that that's good to see. He takes takes his health very seriously. He's got a shovel, a jack, pretty cool rack, and uh, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead head up to the front. We're gonna talk to the receptionist. I believe we have another call today. I, I didn't get all the info on that, so we're gonna get the VIN number, license plate, everything, year, make, model, color, everything, so we know what we're supposed to be going after. I. I thought it was a Corvette, but I don't know. We'll see if somebody else already got it or something. Let's go talk to her. All right. She said it, we are still doing the Corvette. Now, here's what I'm talking about, guys. This truck right here, I believe, I believe it's from Expendables Modding. It's, this is going to be way better. And I think, yeah, you can actually drive up on it. So if we can get inside the truck, and a lot of times on a lot of our repos, the keys are either in it or the person's kind of around or... You know, sometimes we can get into her. At least put it in neutral and winch her up. Something like that. So there we are. Let's go ahead. Head over. So this is going to be a Corvette. I've, this is... We're going to get some pretty good money out of guys. Depending on how much money is owed. Sometimes we... When it, when we do bids, we can sometimes get it like a commission rate. So it, it's awesome to see, you know, like... What is this? this is like an $80,000 vehicle. Absolutely crazy here. Let's look up. Oh, I'm going the absolutely the wrong way. Crank her around, and I'll see you guys when we get very close. All right, so it's right up here, I believe. I'm trying to use my phone, my iPhone here for, for Google Maps. I believe it's one of these. These are really weird roads. Okay, I think that's it. All right, yep, white Corvette looks good to go. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive around real quick and get a better better shot at it. Here, we'll pull around over here. Seems I think like a hurricane or something came through very recently, but all these houses, like, oh there's some cars but like the siding is ripped off look over here this one is really bad i guess it was kind of in the open but it i guess that house is oh no that house has it too it just i don't there were some rent winds or something last year I, don't, I have no idea okay so let's go ahead and pull up here i don't think i can go from the main road side roads the bat uh hopefully this guy does have a weapon in his corvette i i hope he wouldn't okay let's go ahead pull back here this is gonna work good all right, that car is going to give us a lot of troubles. We're going to have to go in the bushes here. All right, go ahead. Back up, back up, back up. 
Oh, straighten her back up. Oh, we just tapped it. That's not good. That's not good. The bank's not going to like that. Okay, let's go ahead and load her up real quick. All right, there we go. We got the Corvette in the back, guys. Okay, this is... I shouldn't have went that far. And oh, don't hit that pole. Okay, we're so close to hitting that. So we did accidentally tap the Corvette. That's never good. I hate doing that. The bank's going to be really mad, but we can kind of say that it was already there. And they don't really have too much, too much evidence. So... We slipped out of there without the guy coming out on both of them. For, for sure, I thought when we pulled up, you know, that guy's in the little shed when we got that little pickup truck. Like, he would come out and stuff, but that was pretty crazy. All right. So, here we go. We haven't had any, like, verbal encounters yet, which is pretty awesome. Nobody's chased us. Nobody's yelled. Nobody's shot anything, which is, like, super good. We need to stay very safe. So, we're going to go back up to our repo shop and uh unload this keep it in the back i think that's all we have unless we get a call while we were going to pick up this corvette i don't think we have any other work today everything went pretty smoothly oh and i think we're gonna be hiring a new hand so that's pretty exciting be on the lookout for that again tutorial tuesday was posted this morning uh, earlier i guess not this morning but before this video so make sure to go check it out it is a video on how to how to download mods which is the most asked question question i've ever gotten in the comment section and it's for pc only very specific pc only so if you're xbox ps4 doesn't really matter anything but pc you cannot get these mods that's just something that like i say all the time but people still ask and so that's why i'm kind of making this video because it's going to help for i i made one for fs17 which is FS19 and 17 for downloading mods, almost, almost absolutely identical in how you're going to do it. So, we'll kind of see here. Can I go this way? I think I can. Kind of, sort of. This way actually might be a little faster. Uh, yep, we can see our sign, guys. The signage is really good. We're, like, over the kind of ridge there. Oh, my goodness, our shop looks so good. Huge shout-out once again to Artist Jack and uh, for making this shop and everything. It was, it was awesome. He actually helped build it, too. So there we are. Let's go ahead and pull in. I think we're going to keep, just for security purposes, we're going to keep the Corvette inside the shop. We should probably put them all in, but I'm just not going to risk it, guys. This thing is like a $100,000 vehicle. I would hate for, for something bad to happen. I might just keep it on the back of the of the truck, too. I just might as well. All right, there we go. Keep backing her up. And I'm going to do a quick tour of the shop just for those who haven't seen it and we're kind of off work now oh did i not shut it off all right so guys we are in the shop here's our patriot we have an awesome tow chain here we have a tow bar over there we have plenty of fire extinguishers i had no idea we have some tool boxes over here some tool benches all that good stuff very cool is a compressor shelves then a lot of signs and stuff and and pictures so yeah the shop is pretty cool i love how it's like how artists made it the model is is pretty awesome and and our signs really match kind of the it's almost more of a modern modern look to it very good so that is gonna wrap up today's episode guys episode three of repoing on the shop just kind of taking a cool picture there as the bird flies over thank you all so much for watching peace out if you haven't subscribed already please do the repo videos have been a little short just because you know we're doing things pretty fast but i think things are gonna get a lot more intense hopefully that guy i know that guy was like a criminal that we took the smaller truck from um he's just well known around here so hopefully he doesn't come back for us I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on if he does we should probably keep his truck inside the shop but anyway hopefully you all did enjoy thank you so much for watching peace out and i'll see you all in the next one